something broken in the cell. It's a toxic cell, a cell that's starving, a cell that is uh, not getting oxygenated, that's suffocating. And then, over the course of time, as enough of it happens, if it's the thyroid, the doctor says, we got to take your thyroid out. Or if it's the gallbladder, we said, we got to take the gallbladder out. If it's the heart, oh, we got to poison the heart with a beta blocker. This is so important. It's hidden in plain sight. You know, power structures like to hide things in plain sight. They get a kick out of it. You know, without getting in too, too political here, some of you guys are, understand what's happening from a political or, or, or a historical standpoint, how history is moving to empowering a centralized power. All of this is happening in front of our eyes. It's hidden in plain sight. And it's happening in the body, too. It's hidden in plain sight. When was the last time a doctor t- did anything to help anybody? To uh, reverse a degenerative disease, I should say, because they do help people when it comes to emergencies and surgeries. It's hidden in plain sight. And unless we understand this relationship between our power at the level of a cell and nobody's power, certainly not the medical power at the level of the organ, we're going to be doomed to the medical model. In the world of skincare, by the way, this is particularly egregious. The idea of a cell versus the tissue is like a ch- uh, the links of a chain versus a chain. A chain can only be as strong as its links. And the body can only be as strong, the body chain can only be as strong as its links, which are the cells. And in the world of skin care, this is really terrible because... The same way we don't look at the building blocks or the components of our bodies, the cells, when we're sick, we don't look at the, the links to the chain, we, we're focused on the chain, we're focused on the organs, in the same way as we don't see the big picture, the macro, or I'm sorry, we don't see the micro because we're, we're lost in the big picture in the macro, we can't, we can't see the trees for the forest. In the world of skincare, we only see the product, we don't see the ingredients. We look at the product and not the ingredients, the way when we're sick, we look at the gallbladder and not the cell. We don't see the links that make up the chain, but we know that a chain is only as strong as its links. A skincare product is only as good as its ingredients. And there's this dishonesty, really blatant dishonesty in the world of skincare that, that kind of hypnotizes us into looking at the product, not the ingredients. You know why? I'm telling you this as a guy who's got 32 years of formulating experience, formulating millions of dollars in products. Everything from doggy mouthwash to conditioner and shampoo to toothpaste to skincare. They're all, all skincare products and really all cosmetic products are basically the same thing. Here's your typical facial product or body lotion or shampoo for that matter or conditioner. Water, wax, emulsifier, oil, silicon, preservative, fragrance, and then maybe a little tiny uh, percentage of the latest buzzword ingredient, whether it's peptides or hyaluronic acid or perhaps vitamin C. And this mean-spiritedness that uh, hypnotizes us, entrances us to look at the product and the marketing and the, the supermodel who's pushing it instead of the ingredient deck is so nasty. But it doesn't matter because we have power. We got to be ingredient deck readers. We got to understand ingredient decks. And it's not, you know, it's it, it's not just a, it's not kind of, it's not like we're stupid. I know a lot of really smart people who, who believe Cindy Crawford or the doctor who makes Cindy Crawford's products. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's see here. Research uncovers new details linking stress and fat metabolism. Where have you heard that before? This is from the journal uh, Molecular and Cell Biology of Lipids. If you're under constant stress and can't lose weight, there's a stress protein that's involved. You don't need doctors to tell you this. It's just common sense, folks. One of the ways the body, it's common biological sense, I should say. One of the ways the body deals with stress is by keeping the pounds on because to the body, the major stress is famine. It thinks a famine's approaching. When we have a credit card bill, the same hormones that get secreted when we get our credit card bill or when we get distressing news from our, wherever we get distressing news, pol- political distressing news and distressing news from our family, cortisol goes up. Stress hormones go up. And when stress hormones go up, the body thinks a famine's coming because the body doesn't know about credit card bills because the body is living in a reality that's hundreds of thousands, millions of years old. There were no credit card bills on the African savanna a million years ago, but there was famine. 
So if you're under stress, if you're trying to do a New Year's resolution and you want to lose weight, get yourself a hot tub. You'll lose weight. You'll relax. You'll activate the parasympathetic nervous system. You'll accelerate the healing. Uh, you'll accelerate healing and regeneration and anti-age with a hot tub. No doctor. Would you rather have a doctor and a drug or a hot tub? Vote for me. Hot tub in every backyard. No Obamacare. Here's another good one. Arthritis and rheumatism. I love this. Microparticles as regul... This is from the journal Arthritis and Rheumatism. Microparticles as regulators of inflammation. Particles in cells, when they explode, cause inflammation. Particles in cells, when we eat them and they leak into the blood, cause inflammation. This is what I've been telling you guys. Microparticles as regulars, regulators of inflammation. If anybody tells you they don't know what's causing, what causes an autoimmune disease, have them go to arth the journal Arthritis and Rheumatism, November 2005, pages 3337 to 3348. You'll get this amazing article that talks about how microparticles from dead cells and food initiate inflammation. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Bernard in Texas, welcome to The Bright Side. What's up? Pharmacist Ben, thanks for everything that you do. Um, Thank you. Thank I'm, you for saying that. I'm, call, I'm calling. Uh, I'm 29 years old. I live in Austin, Texas. Um, okay. I listen to you all the time. I live a uh, probably like a 50-50 lifestyle of good health choices and bad health choices. Okay. That, um, that means they cancel each other out. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> You're at neutral. Um, I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling about two individuals, first one being my mom and the second one being an individual that was brought into my life a couple of days ago um, at, my, at my job. So my mom, she's, had, uh, she's been diagnosed with lupus for 18 years. Okay. Uh, rheumatary arthritis, uh, or RA, and also uh, within the last three years, she contracted valley fever. Okay. Um, How old's your mom? Poor dot. She's, she's 52. Okay, don't need to hear any more. Let me tell you how this works, Bernard, okay? And you probably know if you've listened to the program. Lupus and RA are the same thing, okay? They're both autoimmune diseases. An autoimmune disease is when the immune system somehow becomes hyperactive and jumpy and attacks this itself, attacks the body instead of the, instead of the enemy. It perceives the body as the enemy. This occurs when the, 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 the cells of the, of the various organs and structures, in the case of lupus, it's connective tissue. In the case of rheumatoid, it's the joints. And they're similar, obviously. When uh, the joints and the connective tissue become deformed because the cells are starting to die and the cells are starting to break up and release their particles, the immune system get, uh, goes into action. It doesn't know that the dead cells and the broken up cells and the particles are coming in from, from itself. It just sees broken particles. So it starts to attack. If it happens once, that's fine. The, the body can handle it. If it happens twice, three times, five times, but what happens over and over and over again, eventually you get this immune attack, chronic immune attack, chronic inflammation, chronic sequestering or quarantining of areas of the body, and this is where the, the deterioration begins. The, so that's how it happens. So what do you do? What's the solution? Stop the crap from getting in the blood. And I don't mean to be gross here, Bernard, but I'm just trying to be you know, forceful. Stop the stuff from getting into the blood. Now, your mom is, I'm, I'm betting she's not an IV drug user, so she's not shooting up stuff in the blood. So where else can it be coming from? It's got to be coming from food. So step number one, have her do a food diary. If she wants to experience quick results, quick uh, uh, improvement in her symptoms, pain relief symptoms, have her fast. Do a swear OV cleanse. Are you doing longevity? Or is your mom doing longevity, Bernard? Um, I, do the, I do the tangy tangerine um that's, okay, well, that's what me and my wife take. Uh, we'll get her she, on the tang tangerine. Want, well, if she doesn't want to do it, yeah. I can't help that. That's I'm just telling you what to do or have her do. She doesn't yeah, want to yeah. do it. She, you know, everybody's entitled to do what they want to do. So, uh, my, but this my, is the strategy. Uh, also, for everybody listening out there dealing with these kinds of problems, because it's not just obviously it's not just Bernard's mom. Lots of people have lupus and RA and autoimmunity. But the, I'm, the way I'm explaining this, I'm explaining this to you so you understand why what the remedies work. Not remedies, but the treatments work. Stuff's getting into the blood, it's distorting the organs, and, and there's activating the immune system. Stop the stuff from getting into the blood. That means fasting and controlling your diet. Number one, fasting on the Swero V. I love the Swero V cleanse. You do a bottle every, uh, or a half a bottle every hour, six bottles a day in a 12 hour day. You don't eat any food, you get your electrolytes in the Swero V. If you have an autoimmune disease, you will notice results quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Within 24 hours, you'll feel better. 
Then simultaneously, or not simultaneously, when you're done fasting, do a food diary. And then notice what foods trigger symptomology and then eliminate those foods. Then you're going to patch up the gut using the bioluminightly essence and the Fucoid Z and mucilaginous gummy types of food, which double as immune-boosting foods. All of your mucilaginous foods that contain uh, uh, gummy kinds of things like aloe and noni and cactus kinds of products and some herbs like mallow and, and colt's foot that have a gummy mucilaginous quality, gelatin and glucosamine, bone soup, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid, these turn on the immune system, they strengthen it. So using these kinds of foods in addition to supplements like high hyaluronic acid supplements and the glucogel caps as well. And then, of course, the Mighty 90. Now, I know, Bernard, the odds are good that your mom's not going to be doing this. But for everybody listening, this is instructive because it can help all of anybody dealing with an autoimmune disease. And really, these are strategies that you can use for everything. Just to improve longevity if you are feeling better or to improve muscle building if you're a workout warrior. All right, Bernard, what else do you want to say? I, gotta, I want to get to a bunch of calls here, my friend. Yeah, so, so the, the, the two questions I had um, that are left over is, first and foremost, how long do you fast for? Uh, I, I read online three days is 40 days and like, 40 nights. Uh, 40 days and 40 I know, nights. Right? That, no, that'd be no you fast as long as you can. As long as you want, as long okay. as you can. Three days is great. Two is good. One is even good. Okay, perfect. And then have you ever heard of Castleman's disease? Uh, to tell me a little bit about it. I haven't heard of the name, no. It, it's, a, it's basically an advanced form of cancer. It's where your body is ridden with multiple tumors, and it pushes okay. fluid into certain cavities. So why do they call it Castleman's disease? Just to confuse things. It's, just a, it's, it's a major cancer. It's a lymphatic cancer, correct? It's in the lymph, I believe. Uh, uh, is it a lymph issue? Uh, well, it, it can be, yes. Okay, well, I that's how the things, that's typically be. how, when you have cancers that show up all over the body, that's typically how it do, happens. It happens through the lymph. So everything we just talked about, because the lymphatics open up into the digestive system, and then, of course, the mighty 90 nutrients. And if somebody had Castleman's, I'd be doing IV nutrition. I wouldn't be just relying on oral nutrition. Bernard, I got to go. Thank you so much for your calls and your, and your call and your kind words. Hope we helped you out. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you, I promise, when we come back from our break. Don't go away. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Dr. Kathy Sparkle Markle in New Hi, Haven Country. Ben. <laughs> What's up, Dr. Markle? Thank you for Hi. calling. Hi. Well, I have a success story, and I just wanted to share the truth about your skin products. They're <laughs> magical. They are magical. I want to live in a vat filled with your products. My <laughs> skin you. my skin is smoother. My skin is thicker. My skin is more radiant. Any line that was ever there has completely disappeared, and my skin tone is just so even. I feel radiant, and That's I want awesome, people to know. Thank you, Dr. Markle. Now, now tell the listeners who you are. You're a, a Ph.D. Psych I'm a clinical uh, psychologist. Clinical I'm psychologist at Yale. at Yale University. And you're, you're going to invite me out there to speak to all the Yale physicians about nutrition, right? Right, who don't know anything about nutrition. Except you do now. How, you're I on do the, now. I know awesome. more than they know. <laughs> you do. Isn't, isn't that interesting? Well, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you saying those kind things about the truth, too. So oh, hopefully, and I uh, also want to say to the listeners about... When I went online to try to order one of your products, I was thinking I would start with just one. And I do want everyone to know that the four just work together. It's yeah. like just they're a team. Because the Truth Bomb I'll use on nights that I don't use the retinol. And the Omega-6 is wonderful for is any nice? extra moisturizing or dryness issues. It just remedies it in, a, in, in an hour. And Thanks. the Truth Serum, I wake up and use that Truth Serum. And no matter what makeup you use, yeah. your skin radiates. It, Thank the, you. Whatever the makeup is, the Truth Serum makes beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Markle. I really appreciate that. Now, let me ask you, how often are you using the retinol? I use it about four nights a week. Four nights a week and no irritation or anything? No irritation. And when I might see any sign of some dryness, uh, very little, but I will use the um, Omega-6 over the skin, and within an hour, it's magical. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Markle. We'll talk soon. Have a beautiful day. Okay. Thank you for your it. products, Ben. Thank you, Dr. Markle. I really appreciate that. Thank you. That's awesome. 
Um, and do you guys have any idea how amazing it is that somebody could use retinol 5% four nights a week and not have any irritation? That's unbelievable.